Yeah, that attorney says his client was just trying to pick up his um, his girlfriend from an Oklahoma City home in April of 2001. He said that they were attacked. Hancock was attacked by Robert Jett and James Lynch. He also argues that the conviction was because of an overzealous district attorney as well as poor representation. This is not a case where we're saying this is some technicality and I'm saying, oh, they didn't read him his rights or some crap like that. No, that's not what happened here. This is a travesty. It's a huge mistake and it needs to be corrected. Attorney for Philip Hancock, Sean Nolan, says his client does not deserve to be put to death. That Hancock shot and killed his alleged victims, Robert Jett and James Lynch, in self-defense. No one describing the two alleged victims as drug dealers intent on killing Hancock when he came by Jet's home in April of 2001 to pick up his girlfriend. The only reason Hancock is alive today, Nolan says, is because by some miracle Hancock was able to wrestle a firearm away from Jet. And so he struggled with these men, he got the gun away, and he shot them both. What was he supposed to do? Nolan says the jury was not told the whole story and that DNA evidence that was not tested can prove Hancock was in fact defending himself. If they are so sure that Phil is guilty of first degree murder and should be killed, then test the DNA or give it to us. Let us test the DNA. You know today if this case happened today, they would test this DNA. The Attorney General Gettner Drummond stands by the conviction and the sentence, arguing in part that no DNA evidence can prove what he calls a quote, indefensible claim of self-defense going on to say that Hancock pursued his victims and that the evidence is clear Hancock murdered both Jett and Lynch. Right now, the execution is set for November 30th. He has a clemency hearing on November 8th.